uh, we're getting to the home stretch. Uh, you're gonna be glad you stuck around for the rest of the show. Trust me, we got some good comics coming up. Your next comic, haven't seen this guy in a while. Really uh, bummed he hasn't been here, but really glad he's here tonight. Give it up for Mr. Will Tolls. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Jesse. Um, I'm really stoked to be here. I haven't gotten to do this room. This is the first time. Uh, I saw a mastodon up stairs here. Yeah. I saw high and fire upstairs here. Fucking and uh, so now I'm here, you lucky so-and-sos. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus. Yeah, a couple months ago, the family got together. Uh, someone brought barbecue from uh, Buzz and Ned's, which is just fucking delicious. Uh, my three-year-old son, someone gave him a rack of ribs and he was just gnawing on it like a little dog and he had barbecue sauce all over his face and it was adorable and in front of the entire family he looks up with his little face full of barbecue sauce and says mom dad i like barbecue is this human uh, family uh families families are you know, their families are like assholes. They're not all beautiful, but they're where babies come from. <laughs> My favorite reaction is some girl, no laughter, no laughter after the joke, and some girl just said, no. <laughs> oh, thanks guys, great. Oh. No, uh, Halloween's coming up. Uh, I'm just the fifth person to remind you guys of that. Halloween's coming up. Here's my little bit about Halloween. Now, um, my kid's just old enough, so he's finally starting to get what Halloween is, and he's excited about it. And uh, for me, it's special, too, because I came of age watching slasher movies, listening to death metal, and God bless his little heart, he wants to be Peter Pan, and it legitimately creeps me out. Like, he got me good. And, and, and Peter Pan upsets me deeply. And I have to be Captain Hook. I just wanted to share that. That's not a fucking joke. Um, I listened to two old men talk about the correlations they saw between Satanism and uh, Halloween. And I had to interrupt them, and I was like, you guys can say what you want to uh, about those two occasions, but I'll have you guys understand one thing uh, about Satanic Mass and the celebration, celebration of Halloween. It's completely appropriate to show to both of them dressed like Wonder Woman. <laughs> so. Thank you. God, what a wonderful place. Let's, let's see here. Jeez. All right. Okay. My fa you know what my favorite new thing technology has brought us is the uh, the touch screen uh, option. There's a card swipe touch screen. They've gotten a lot of bars and coffee places lately. Because I don't like to do the uh, the metal acrobatics to figure out tips. They just flip that thing, you press the little button, 20%, the other little button, 25%. Because, uh, you know, me, I'm allergic to fifth grade mathematics and not other people's germs. Um, <laughs> there, there, there are certain places that will offer you a discount if you bring your own bags or if you rode a bike to the uh, establishment. I wonder what kind of discount you get if you pick a booger off the touch screen. <laughs> uh, I firmly believe that if you drive a vehicle, car, with the bumper sticker, one of those bumper stickers that says coexist, and you have not blown or finger fucked at least 75% of the people under those silly religions <laughs> shown on the coexist bumper sticker, and you're a total fucking poser. Maybe part of the problem. Uh, I'll leave you guys with this. My 
spirit animal is a pinata. <laughs> and I was raised Catholic, so when I beat myself up, it's just to get to the candy. <laughs> Thank you guys. This will be the first time in the comics, and it was lovely. I'll be back very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, Will Tolls, ladies and gentlemen. That was fun. Give it up, Will Tolls, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. Thanks. Uh, your next comic. Uh, this guy came from all the way from the 757 to make you laugh. So, Richmond. It's like Tidewater area. Oh. Like, he, he, but, but hey, he drove here to make Richmond laugh. So, Richmond, make him feel welcome. Give it up for Mr. Tyler Matthews. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. How's everybody doing? Good. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, hey, John Thomas. <laughs> He's gay. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, man. I was uh, looking at Facebook. Um, if people, all right, people are bitching about grown up dogs. If you have a problem with dogs and you're complaining about dogs online, you really shouldn't get a puppy. That's pretty, you should not get a puppy. I don't care if. It's a surprise and someone left a puppy at your door, don't take that puppy. I don't care if you went crazy at Vegas, don't come back home with a puppy. Especially if your girlfriend's trying to convince you that puppies are really cute and she's expecting a puppy really soon, don't get a puppy. The fact is if you're bitching about grown up dogs online, under no circumstances should you have a puppy. The title of that joke is I'm okay with abortion because of shit I read on Facebook. <laughs> Uh, being a comic, uh, I'm always like working out on jokes and uh, do it in public a lot. I know a lot of the comics can relate to this, uh, like working on jokes out in public. Like you're always like kind of talking to yourself, mumbling about shit. It looks really weird. People look at you like you're possessed or a weirdo or something. I mean, I I'll be just out and about and just going, oh, we gotta put this there, put that there. Oh, okay. So the monkey says to the other monkey, that's why your mom was a cunt. Oh shit, there's everyone staring at me. Hi, fellow strangers. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so uh, I figure what I do is get like a Bluetooth and put it in my ear, and like so I look normal when I'm like talking to myself. The problem is you don't look normal. You still look weird. Because people go at you and like, damn, why is that crazy cracker talking about monkey cunts? Who is he talking about that with? The only place I feel safe uh, working out jokes in my head is uh, in my room at the Richmond Psychiatric Center. <laughs> it's a judge-free zone. Uh, Michael Sam, uh, he just got cut by uh, his second NFL team. You guys hear about that? Michael Sam, the, the first openly gay player. Right? The problem is, he, everyone's saying he just uh, is not good at uh, football. He's, he's not that good. I guess uh, openly gay football oh players just suck dick yes. at football. <laughs> Um, have you ever been uh, like looking at the ingredients of a Red Bull or a Monster while you're drinking it and like wondered like how the hell am I still alive? <laughs> you should try it. Like look at that shit while you're drinking it and when you're done with the whole thing I guarantee you your heart beats just a little bit faster. <laughs> Cause that shit, you're not supposed to drink that shit. They invented that shit to replace oil someday. Like, they, they, you're not supposed to be drinking that stuff. I have a roommate who drinks nothing but energy drinks all the time, and I can tell when he's been drinking a bunch of that day because it's just on his face. Like, he, I'll be talking to him, like, hey, what's going on, man? How, how's your day and everything? And he'll just start looking all weird at me. Like, oh, man, everything's good, man. It's just fine, man. Everything's all right, dude. Just, I'm like, dude, you've been drinking those energy drinks again, haven't you? It's like, no, man, I don't know what you're talking about at all. It's like, don't do that, man. You know what you do when you're drinking energy drinks. And he's like, no, man, I'll be cool. I'll be all right, man. But I, I know he gets fucked up because I'll be sitting in my room all by myself, and I'll hear weird Chinese fighting noises out loud in the fucking middle of the living room. It just did a wah! And I'm trying to, and I'll go out of my room to see what the fuck he's doing. Dude's doing fucking dishes, making these damn noises like. I, I let him 
finished because like the dishes never get done. So. <laughs> but uh, and after that, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Do you hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? Like, wah, wah, wah. And I was like, man, don't make me fucking drink one of those energy drinks and Bruce Lee or Jackie Chain ass. <laughs> Alright, thank you for listening to all my new stuff. <laughs> All right, Tyler Matthews, coming all the way from Virginia Beach to give you that new stuff. Let him hear it. That was nice. That was nice. Give it up. One more time. All right, we're in the home stretch. Just a few people left, but you're going to be glad you stuck around. Your next comic's one of those reasons. Give it up for Mr. Patrick Busey. Hello, McCormick's. My name is Patrick, and I have anger issues. <laughs> Not really, it's just like I have like emotions that go up and down just all over the place, and I think it comes from me being a vegan. <laughs> like, like, as a vegan, I just only eat tofu, which is just straight soy and like estrogen, and it's just like, I just eat bricks of tofu all day, just cold bricks of tofu like off a conveyor belt into my mouth. And it makes my like positive and negatives go from like up here to down here very quickly. Like the other day I woke up and I was in a very happy place. I was smiling and I got in the shower and I was like, I'm gonna masturbate twice today. <laughs> Once is routine. Twice is a little present to yourself because you know you're gonna have a great day. <laughs> And then I went uh, home to Mechanicsville to visit my family. <laughs> that name speaks for itself. <laughs> it's like, if you're, not, uh, if you're not aware of it, it's hell outside of Richmond. There's flames and all. Yeah. And I'm aware. I went out there, visited my parents, talked to my mom for a bit, and then I went to the grocery store. And that's when shit just turned. <laughs> like, I get in line behind a shopping cart that's just full, like $300 worth of shit. And before I even judge the person that, that's buying this stuff, I just start judging the shit in their cart. Like I'm just staring out over a barren wasteland of Eggo flavors and pizza bagels. And I'm like, how did you get to this point in your life? You're fucking garbage. Your whole family's garbage. They'll never amount to anything, which was a problem. <laughs> Because when I looked at the person, it was my mom. Oh. Which means I'm a garbage baby. All right. On my way back, I saw a billboard. And before I tell you what's on that billboard, let me ask you a question. Have any of y'all ever uh, been taken to Fright Fest early in your life at a theme park way before you were able to handle that shit? Like, you went there, you did that shit, and then you had to deal with the repercussions for the next 10 years. Like, my dad dragged me in there, and he was like, it's okay, it's gonna be fun, you know? Have fun. And then I go in there, and a dead baby just falls onto my neck, and I'm screaming, and he's over there laughing in the corner, like, oh, oh. My dad's real fat, so like, air doesn't enter his throat the same way that normal people do. So just stay. And the other day I was driving by, I saw this billboard, and on it it was like, King's Dominion's Fright Fest. And then it had Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Gang on it. And I was like, are you shitting me? They get that? Like, the only thing Charlie Brown ever had to worry about was, like, getting a rock in his trick-or-treat bag. Like, dead babies were not included in that equation. I guess also he had to deal with the fact that his dog was schizophrenic, and if he didn't handle that, that dog was going to fly a plane into somebody, and he was going to have a lawsuit that he didn't want to handle. Thank you for talking during my set. That really uh, makes me feel great about being up here. Um, but also, when I was younger, I had dreams. Like, I wanted to be president. But at 12, I already knew that like alcohol was in my future, so I wanted to be the first drunk president. <laughs> like I just wanted to like have my secret service men wake up in the morning just terrified. Like, who's on it? Nate? Nate's smoking a cigarette. Where is he? And I'm just in the Oval Office with PBR boxes propped up against the door, just signing shit into existence. 
Like, I'm just like, from now on, Hunger Games, it's real. And it's just like, we're America, which means that we're not voting two people in. All children are in Hunger Games from now on. <laughs> if one of us died, we all die. And then, like, the one that survives is the mascot of America. He's just huge and muscular, and he's just stuffing hot dogs into his mouth. <laughs> just masturbating in front of the Russian mascot. Like, I wish that you could be me right now. <laughs> but I, I did get a job recently. I got a job as a substitute teacher. <laughs> Which is fucking amazing, because it means that they don't drug test or do anything <laughs> before they let you watch children. <laughs> but uh, my other boss was telling me, he was like, hey, Pat, tell those kids to color outside the lines. That's sound advice. But the way he said it was like, mm, tell those kids to color outside the lines. <laughs> not a word, but now it is, because I have a mic. I'm going to finish on this. Um, as angry as I am most of the time, I don't get in many fights. Uh, I've only been in one in my entire life, and that's because, just look at me, it wouldn't last very long. Uh, but I like to put titles on things, and the title of this fight was The Watermelon Altercation. And I'm going to unpack that for you. I was a mean dude, and... Uh, my roommate did a lot of acid, so I was like, he's going crazy. And he took offense to that. So he comes down, I'm watching TV, and he hurls a watermelon slice at my face. <laughs> I brushed it off. I was mature, grown about it. It's not until the second watermelon slice strikes you in the face <laughs> that just you turn super sane and start commandmaying everything in the room. <laughs> And it's also weird that he wasn't holding that watermelon slice after the first one. He pulled it out of his pocket. Like a weapon. That's the end of that new joke. My name is Patrick Busey. Please welcome Jesse back to the stage. Patrick Busey, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. Yes. We have just two comics left. And you're going to be glad you stuck around your next comment.